What's up? What's good world? In this video, we're going to make some polymer clay cabochons and they're perfect just to add to your other projects just to make them stand out a little more and be unique. So yeah, let's get to it. So taking some Sculpty 3 polymer clay, I'm taking the colors green, yellow, purple, pink, orange, black, and blue. And it's like a tilly blue, but yeah. So first up, I'm taking some pink clay and we're going to make tiny little hearts. So this is a really easy cabochon to make. You can make a bunch of little hearts and then you could just glue them onto your other projects and it pops and it makes it look cute. It's like adorable. But yeah, I'm just rolling out a log of clay and then cutting out two equal parts. So just two little chunks, bam, bam, and then rolling those into teardrops. So you can see it's just like teardrop, half of a heart, and then I'm combining them and just pinching them and squeezing them together and then smoothing in that line just to make it look all like one piece, like one solid piece. And yeah, you could just pinch it and pull it to make it however you like like if you want a skinny heart a fat heart and then i just made another one and i m ended up making a bunch of them i think i made like six of each color so yeah and this one's super easy to do and i wanted a bunch of different sizes so you could see like i made a bigger one and a small one and next i roll out a log and then i'm cutting it in five pieces so the first one's going to be a little bit longer and i'll only do one and then the next one, I'll go a little bit smaller and I'll cut out two the same size. And then I'll go even smaller and then I'll cut out two the same size. So you can kind of like visually see what I'm talking about. And then I take the longest piece and then I just roll it out. Kind of like a little log, but the ends want to be pointy. So you could see here like they're pointy little ends. And then I just keep doing that the same thing, like shaping it the same way, like a little fat in the middle with the pointy ends little like fatty log and then I just start assembling them and you can see here we are making a weed leaf marijuana leaf and it's like you can make it like as thin as you want or as thick so if you want like a thin little leaf or a thick leaf depending how you like them so yeah I just keep on making that shape over and over again and then if your clay gets like too warm and too sticky you could stick it in the fridge just to like chill it out so that it's not too warm because in the summer it's kind of hard to work with clay because it gets so hot cool so now you can see the leaf is coming to life so there i did five little leaves and then this is the stem so you want to make sure you cut out a little piece for the stem but don't add it yet now with the back side of my razor my clay blade i'm going in and adding a line down the middle if you do another line it's so tiny like it's okay it's fine um not every leaf is perfect, so yeah. And then with the exacto blade, you can get these at Dollar Tree. I'm going in and detailing it up by adding these little lines. And you don't want to push hard into the clay at all. You don't want to cut it. You just want to make a little indent. So yeah, just slice, slice, slice. And then you can use that blade to define the leaves again because they are going to get a little bit squished. But I do find like you don't want your leaves um, perfect. You want them kind of like trippy looking, if that makes sense. So like curly a bit. So you can like pinch the tips and curl them so that they look more trippy, psychedelic, whatever. You don't want them like all looking the same because then it'll look like a maple leaf. I don't know. That's just how I think. And then, yeah, you can see me attaching the stem. So I don't really do much to the stem. I just stick it on. Cool, and then I'm using the blade to just scrape it off the table and then going back in and pinching and pulling until I like the way it looks. Cool, so that was the weed leaf and we got our hearts down. Next up, we're gonna do an eyeball. So I'm taking some white clay. I forgot to show that, show that in the beginning, but yeah, I'm taking some white clay and now we're gonna make a bunch of little eyeballs. So it's really easy. Um, I usually do like, teardrops or diamond shapes or circles but yeah you're just gonna make a little diamond shape and then you're gonna take the color you want your pupil and we're gonna do pink and then i'm rolling that into a little ball flattening it out and then adding it to the eyeball so yeah these are basic shapes like your diamond shape and your circle now with that exacto blade i'm going in and adding some little detail lines into the clay 
And if these are messed up, don't worry, I always mess them up, but you could just add more lines with the blade later. And then taking some black clay, I'm doing the exact same thing, rolling a ball and then flattening it out and adding it onto the eyeball. And then you could fix your lines with the blade and just redefine them. Now taking more white clay, you want a teeny tiny little bit because we're going to do just a little accent just to bring this eyeball to life. So this is super small. And sometimes white clay gets really warm. So just don't play with it too much. Like don't condition it too much because it's going to be really soft. Most white clay is super soft. But yeah, just work with it a little bit and kind of work fast if you can just so it's not so sticky. And then, yeah, I added three little dots under the eyeball and now it is done. Next up, we're doing my favorite thing to make, a little alien. So this is a simple shape. It's just a teardrop. So take whatever color you want to make your little alien. In this case, I used pink and I'm taking some black. So yeah, I made a little teardrop alien and you could kind of flatten the edges or like smooth out the edges so it's circular or whatever you want. Next, I'm taking the black clay and I'm taking teeny tiny little equal parts of it, rolling it into a ball and then rolling it into a diamond. So like the eyeball we just did, but smaller. And you don't have to do a diamond. You can also do a teardrop shape for the eyeballs and they'll come out cute too. I just like the diamond look just because it's kind of a little more intricate. And you could add little dots to the note, like two tiny dots to make the nostrils, but I didn't. I just stuck with the eyeballs. Cool. Next up, we're going to take some pink clay, a little ball, and flatten it out a little bit. And this is going to be a smiley face. Well, this one is a sad face. I want to do sad face just because I have a sad face tattoo. You could do smiley faces, but I just wanted to make a bunch of little sad faces. But yeah, so... You take some black clay, you roll it into a little snake, and then you bend it into a C shape, and then you add it on. Next, I took two equal parts of black clay, like teeny tiny little bits, rolled it out a little bit, and then stuck it onto the sad face so it's just dot dot curve, you know? <laughs> Next, we are making a flower. So I'm taking the color teal, and then I'm rolling out a log like a small little log and then I'm cutting out six equal parts of the blue and they, these are going to be the little petals and now I'm just going to do a basic teardrop shape so I'm rolling them into balls and then I'm putting pressure uh, on one end of the ball and that kind of makes it a teardrop shape so I'm using the back of my palm just to roll them out and then once I have them all in their little shapes I'm assembling them and attaching them all by like the tip the pointy part the top part of the teardrop and then adding a little bit of blue and then bam you got your flower next we're just going to make a teardrop out of a little ball of clay so this is like an actual teardrop just because i've made so many teardrops i'm like oh that's a cute cabbage on i might as well make like a teardrop for like all my little sad girl theme like my little sad face i got teardrops but yeah <laughs> cool so once you make the teardrop shape i'm taking some white clay just to like highlight it add a little highlight to the teardrop and i'm making it a little round and this is just so people know it's a teardrop so it has like that shine cool and that was it next i'm just making more cabochon so i'm doing the same things in every single color so like i'm making hearts aliens eyeballs flowers weed leaves in all of the colors of clay that I showed you at the beginning. So this is just me making another alien, just making a green one. And you can get creative with this. You could add teardrops to the alien. You could add like a mouth to it, make it a sad alien. You could do whatever you want. You could just keep on going, keep going intricate. And here I'm making some orange hearts. So yeah, just squeezing the little teardrops together and smoothing it out. Next up, I'm making a lilac weed leaf. So here's just another clip of me doing it. So yeah, you see the one, the two, that's like kind of small. And then the last two are even smaller. So this is the basic shape to make, or the basic cutouts to make the weed leaf. 
And then, yeah, it's lots of pinching and pulling <laughs> until you get it right. But this is really relaxing. Like this whole time I was sculpting, I was listening to documentaries, audiobooks. Um, to make every single color, it was about like a three hour project. Um, just make sure you have a snack and everything. And it's fun, it's relaxing. It like calms me out. This is my therapy. But yeah, this weed leaf came out way cuter. And if your clay is uh, softer, it'll be harder to work with. Like you want to get hard clay, but not too hard clay. So Fimo is better but i like sculpey 3 like it works for me as long as i like put it in the fridge for like five minutes every now and then if it gets too hot but yeah but yeah i love this freaking lilac weed leaf like that purple kush ah oh, it came out so cute next up with some yellow clay we're gonna do something new we're gonna make a pair of lips so this one i'm just rolling out a small piece of yellow clay cutting it in half and making another teardrop you can make a lot with teardrops, just saying. So here's one teardrop. And then I will make another one. And I like mine like fat at the end and thin at the tip. So like the fat part, the fat bully part, and then it gets thin up at the top. And then I'm combining them at the ball part. And then rolling out another piece of clay and this is going to be like a banana shape like a like a u kind of and this will be the bottom lip so depending on how you like your lips i like mine's kind of like brat dolls so i like them pouty and big and yeah you can see i'm just messing with it and you could cut it if you need to and i like the tips just like super pointy Cool. And then I squeeze it all together and then I pinch the ends just to make sure everything's secure. You don't want these falling apart, so you want to make sure that they all stick together. Sweet. So it kind of looks like a mustache, but there's the pair of lips. You can even combine all the colors and make a unique creation. So here I made some rainbow flowers. So and here is all of the cabochons. Oh my gosh, I made all the colors of the rainbow. I even combine like swirled the colors together so i can make like a rainbow weed leaf and then i was missing black so i went in and did some black too so yep i did all of that knocked it all out made the eyeballs smiley faces sad faces aliens weed leaves lips everything so i put them on a baking pan and now i'm going to place them in the oven and i bake my clay at 195 fahrenheit and I leave it in there for like an hour and a half or two hours. I'm in Colorado, so elevation and everything. But this works the best for me. Once the clay pieces are out of the oven, I let them cool. And then I wait to glaze them until I add them to my projects. And these are just some of the projects I've added the cabochons to. And you can see they just make things pop and just make it like a dash more unique. But yeah, all of these videos uh, will be on my channel. Like I made this flask, made this lighter, and you can go see how to do it. And yep, oh, the pink wee leaf is just so cute with a pink little daisy. And then here is the cigarette case. And yeah, you could see here I used the rainbow wee leaf. I didn't show that on camera, but I could do a video if you want me to. Let me know in the comments which cabochon was your favorite one and which one you want to make. Also, please be sure to follow me, subscribe to this channel, give this video a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.